7 p.m. Everyone here. Oh, shut up. Okay. Are you, are you the chairman this week or am I? I am the chairman. Ah, At the last meeting, he voted me chairman. <laughs> so, uh, meetings call to order. Present are all three members, Alan Kent, Kevin Rudden, and Vin Roy, and our able uh, clerk doesn't do the work, doesn't do you justice, Dan, uh, Dan Beyer. First item of agenda is consider and approve in prior minutes. We have none to approve tonight. Next item is review and consider approving vouchers and billing commitments. Process now. <laughs> we have signed all yeah. eight. Yeah, you yeah. got so you got um, the monthly whitewater bill, the last billing commitment, the final bill, and then a few miscellaneous whitewater bills. We did have a call form hit at both the senior center and the library, so some of that's paying for him to come out and retest. It's all good now. He flushed. It. Do we? Uh, how do we fare on this on the retest? It was. It came back clean. I don't know the specifics, but I think. Um, and both those buildings have really low use. I actually think I was. I, I talked to Ken this morning. You almost want to like tell Andrew like every morning when you go to the library, turn all the faucets on for 20 minutes because they just don't use a lot of water. Right. And it just sits. I was either this think it was either that or maybe with so much rain, those heavy rain. But, yeah, especially with that issue at the Tur library. Turned up the groundwater. Although we fixed it last time around the wellhead, so hopefully that's good. Well, whatever it's fixed. I do have another related update that I guess is under new business. Go ahead. We had our sanitary survey today with DEP um, for the public system. So we'll get for, the For which building? For the whole system, the customer side. Dan, yeah, before we go any further, if you get an extra agenda, Candy. Yeah, thanks. Is that, you can go no, no, I can. I, you mean? Few. Was wait, by whole system? Do you mean the Hopedale system? Yeah, the Hopedale, the customer system. I don't know. Okay. I can't. I don't know a good thing to call it. Like, I guess that's the, the water system, and then we have the public water supplies. Okay, no. So um, everything was fine. She's the same person we've had for a few of the public systems that somebody knew. Um, I don't know if you knew this, that woman, Kelly Momberger, passed away during COVID. Oh, she, she was the one who had done, I don't know if you ever knew her, Vin. No. How old was she? Not that old. Like in she died 50s. of COVID? I don't know if it was of COVID I... or it was during COVID. <laughs> She's very subtle. Oh, Kelly Momberger was her name? I, I know of the name, yeah. yeah. I'll just tell you, based on my experience, I got COVID while on a trip to Alaska in the uh, first week of July. I was down for five weeks. I'm still having respiratory issues. So it scared the heck out of me to yeah. tell you the truth that it can do that much to somebody, you know, with, the, I already have one medical issue. It really, it yeah, didn't that, me. It's scary. Yeah. Oh, oh. I better go talk to the doctor and the doctor they took x-rays and this and that. Nope, don't, it's not COVID. It's not uh, pneumonia. Well, I, I got it while on a cruise ship and they successfully hid from myself and all the people that they had more than 30 people on the cruise ship had COVID. Yeah. And we had that new Eris, whatever it is, version. Oh. Yeah, so you guys are all aware that it's it's starting to go around again. And the Paxlovid did nothing to get rid of it. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so. But I got charged nine hundred dollars for Paxlovid. <laughs> so I don't know. If, take insurance on a cruise ship. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm hoping everybody's got the latest vaccine. It's I have I have not. I, I, which I'm hoping I got. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I did it. Uh, I'll just schedule it. All right. Yeah. Anyway, back Anyways, yeah. Back to agenda review Wait. FY23 budget. Yeah. So with, with the survey though, real quick. So I yeah. we should be all set. Okay. Um, the one issue that came up, and we're going to get a table, like a table B deficiency, is the uh, we got to flush the hydrants. Um, Don't we usually do that? We've fall? been, it's been a while. Um, what I'd like to do, and now with the changes in town hall, I'm assuming if you're okay with it, I'd like to ask if they're willing to pay me overtime to just flush them. So Whitewater does not have the staff to do it. I guess the gentleman that did it is. Didn't we uh, buy the apparatus? Yeah, that's the thing. We bought the equipment. So I'm hoping now with David, I'm going to chat with him and Mike and just say, listen. He's not back till next week. Right? No, I think he's back, somebody said. Okay. But we've got the equipment. we got the money. David's the acting administrator. It seems like you could just pay me overtime instead of paying somebody else the same to do that. All you're doing is open hydrants. I agree. Um, but we definitely, 
Well, please pursue that. The residuals are, are coming a little were lower than they'd like to see, and Tim said he thinks it's probably we need to flush. When's the last time we did a unidirectional flush? Uh, 2018. No. Oh, my God. And it was COVID. And then no, it, we did I, it. That's what Ken was saying, but I couldn't find in my emails that we did it yeah, again. Yeah, I swear it's like two years or something. No, we did it. We did it. Didn't we do it in 21 or 22? I'll go back and look. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm when pretty I sure email, we did. All I could find was the 2018 time that he did it. No, I'm pretty sure we did it in, in, okay. in either the fall of 21 or or sometime in 22. I remember. Uh, I, think, I think you're right. Yeah, I, I remember us doing again. it. Maybe we yeah, I think it was only, I think it's been a couple of years. It's been a couple of years, yeah, so it needs to be. So yeah, we have to get it done. So so we'll get that, and then the other thing I was yeah, thinking, and even if we just did dead ends, would be fine. Yeah, you don't have to do the entire. What's it's the system is so small. Right. Yeah. It's really not. No, it's just find the end the end of each run and do it. Um, exactly. Yeah. Dudley's a loop, isn't it? Yeah, Dudley's not the oh, issue. Dudley. It's like like where he lives, where it's a dead end street. As near as we can tell, Dudley is actually a dead end street. No, no, place. Alan, I was wrong. Yeah, when, I when they changed the meter at Dudley Road, it is a loop. It does go all the way through, and that he was able to turn it on, so the people, the customers, really didn't lose water at all. Okay. Um, did you find the, the valve or whatever? We yeah, the it's it's on Westcott. What is that? Is that Baloo? Baloo. It's on Baloo. Okay. I seem to remember the building that's connected on both ends. That's what we thought, but then the plans ended, and we had, don't have a lot, and I even called them. Um, I remember them putting it in, because I lived right there. And uh, I seem to remember it's connected on Westcott and on, and on Dudley, so it's oh, uh, it's, not, it's not a loop on Dudley, but it's connected. Where Dudley, he, where Dudley meets Blue. Yeah. yeah, especially the fact that you mentioned we've had a couple of bacteria hits. Yeah, well, that's the, and the uh, with the low residuals. Yeah. Okay, well, what, do, what do we have? Five dead ends. Um, we have well, so Dudley Road's got a or not Dudley? Well, yeah, Dudley Road functionally has a dead end when that valve. Is yeah, but closed. that's not an issue. The, the, um, Talbot Farm has a dead end. Okay. Joseph is a dead end. Edward Joseph, Joseph Mill River, Bates. Mill River. They're all Bates. dead. The whole system is nothing but dead ends. Well, let's be. But so let's. I'll probably, find out about that. Why don't you approach David and Mike and see if you can't get the overtime? And if not, then we'll. Otherwise, we'll. I mean, we have the money. Um, figure out what to do. And the you, um, yeah. the other one I was thinking of this morning, just even though, is the uh, leak survey. It's probably. I think we did it pretty late in the winter last time, so I don't know I'll if we want to yeah. give it a little time or if we want to get on it before winter. I'd like to see us do it every year. So for six hundred bucks, if he can get back this year, it's a great deal. Let's get him back. Yeah. Um, that we've been, Jesse is who I, yeah, I have his card sitting on my desk at home. I just looked at it the other day. So what is this? Um, <laughs> uh, Dan, you went down and reviewed the FY23 budget that's closed out. Yep. So I actually, and he actually responded to me. I went through and plugged in all the numbers to have the final 2023 actual numbers. So the final, where is it? The final closing balance, our so-called free cash number, will be $30,922.60. And there's It's a total total retained earnings? Is that much or is that? No, no. So then there's an additional 10000 something. I'll find it. 10000 from FY23. From there the previous quote. year. Okay. So it's 40000 something. There's, yeah, 10 7 15 is the fund balance. And then when they do free cash, we will close out in the positive 30,000. So we've got 40,000 in the bank. Beautiful. So Perfect. I, think I have a feeling we're going to need it at some point. We're in good shape. Um, well, even if, you know, just to spend, you know, we'll probably have some outlay when we finally, this Cape road thing comes to fruition, the meter, um, I, I, things like that, you know, well, I also think at some point when this gets a little bit higher, we ought to look at replacing some of these 50 year old pipes. Yeah, and I asked um, way or another. What's his name, um, Scott? I asked him just Scott Salhuji about the asbestos and just to give us some some real rough ballpark. And so I can. I can tell you it's about four hundred dollars a foot. He was saying seven seven point five to eight million to replace all our AC pipe. He's thinking very big ballpark number, but how much? How much AC pipe do we have in the system? I believe we have twelve thousand nine hundred and fifty linear feet. 
and they all date back to the 40s. And it's all, yeah, it's all. Well, so I think some of the stuff on Edwards and Joseph is from the 70s. So that's, that's, that's just over, over two miles. Yeah. yeah. So. But at some point, we, we, we need to look at just by age. Oh, absolutely. Getting a plan to replace that stuff. Well, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. One, because Kev, you know, I'm in the industry a long time. It really depends on the breakage history. You know, this. You know, you could have new, newer type pipe, and if it's got horrible fill around it, say they just put rocks and you know just uh, the like, Talbot form with the bend. Yeah, right, right. And so they weren't careful about backfilling the pipe. Yeah, you're prone, and if they, especially on plastic pipe, where they deflect the pipe and all that kind of stuff, like the stuff we've seen there. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff we want to target. But if you got some older pipe that, if they were careful about how they backfill the pipe, well, and we don't have were. a history of any breaks on, that's the thing. I mean, it, it, so there's. I just I, fear. I'm don't saying just, just you can't just base it on age. We'll find out when they do if this um, warehouse thing ever gets built when they replace that section. Maybe okay. we'll get a real good understanding of how that was backfilled. And all right, well, <coughs> that leads us into the, the water study. Where where are we on that? Yeah. So I unfortunately don't have much to report. Um, I have not really talked to Jack much. Have they ever submitted they, a second version? We had a kickoff yeah. for the a kickoff kind of discussion for phase two. Yeah. They were gonna. I'm trying to remember what was what was that that meeting. Weren't they gonna come back with a proposal? Has that happened? I don't remember. I know I think, Jack was waiting and I think trying to get David up to speed. I don't, not a whole lot has happened over the summer. I think they had four locations. They were coming up with what we needed to do from a legal perspective in order to like get permission to get on the property or reach out to those property But in, in the meantime, wasn't the fire department trying to grab a I believe, the proper money for a fire truck? I believe that has been approved. I don't know if that has to be voted on further. But the select board basically approved it, and I don't, I don't know if that's COVID eligible or not. I'm, that's none of my business. Well, if if it was, they have the right to give them the money, and that is fire protection is one of the things in there. But it's just it's nine hundred thousand less the right. ARPA money that we could apply towards. I mean, Mike, oh. what Mike said at the meeting, and I kind of understand what he's coming from, is in the context of a sixty million dollar project, one million versus one point eight million, is it? I no, I sense. agree, and it also saves the town from an override, but on a fire truck. Now, and last night they were talking about a possible operational overwrite next spring. Oh, I, great. I wasn't watching that. Either. So I just want to back up a little bit. So the, meet, the last meeting that I attended to, Dan, with you, we right. had a town manager here. That was with Dave. That's the last thing I've heard. Yeah, but I thought I didn't know that we were, I thought it was kind of full steam ahead that everything was in place. That, that was my takeaway, yeah. Yeah. So that that, you know, there were some things that I thought Jack was going to do as far as reaching out to the property owners to gain permission, but I thought we had a green light to go and start doing some of these test wells. Is that not happening? Or I, That I don't know. I don't know anything. I have right, not well, had a chance to follow up with Jack. Can you follow up with probably, Jack? He should probably come sit, sit with us and have another. Yeah, can, yeah can, I think it's a good idea. Can you idea, just yeah. follow up with Jack and say, is phase two underway or not? Let me just shoot him a quick text. Down. So, Kev, just so you guys are aware of this. Dan, how long ago was that meeting? Uh, was I was early June, right? It was in June. Yeah. Oh well, no! If, da if David was David Dimash was here, it was after July. You're right. It was after June. Yeah. So we talked about phase two, and then, and so we were. It was a green light. We were we were going forward with. Jack was going to do a lot of the legwork at Letters oh, Out okay, to the that residents. Means the board got a proposal that approved it. That was the understanding that I had. Okay. I just want to find out if that's true or not. Because my understanding was we were the last thing I heard was we were waiting for the engineers to come back with a phase two proposal. And they did. Okay, they did. They that did. came back. And it got approved by the board. I assume so. That's big business. Well, yeah, that that's what we talked about at the meeting. Okay, yeah. then then it's um So I don't know what progress has been made. My guess is All not right, we much. need to follow up with Jack, yeah, because so. Because I know there's, yeah, I know. Just, even if we just know it's, it's underway. Because I, I, again, I mean, I hate to sound like a whining complainer. Yeah, there's not much to it, Kevin. All we're going to do is get permission to go onto these, onto the, uh, and, the and do those tests. locations, do some test wells. Yeah, that was I, it. My, my point, Finn, is just the board that's going to wind up overseeing it. Is going to be us. Is always left out of 
what's going on. No question. Yeah. I'm, my apologies that you guys weren't aware of any of this stuff. Well, well, no, it's not your fault. I, I blame it on the fact that they're, my own opinion, we're being taped. We have a select board centric government that believes they control everything yeah. and they don't diffuse info down to the people it affects. Okay. So there has to be some minutes of something. I'm sure um, it's, it's something we could circulate that, you know, the stuff that was discussed at that meeting, and just, just so we can get you guys up to speed on where we're at. And then I'll, ultimately, we'll have to go to Jack and get a progress. Well, whatever, whatever. An update on what you I mean, All I care where about is, right is it underway? What's an estimated time frame? Yeah. You know, is it six months? Is it the end of the summer? Is it next year? My guess is based, it's going to be a big production. I mean, they were talking about, and I'm trying to remember now, they were talking about flagging wetlands or and getting the necessary going to conservation and getting the permitting to like do the work. And I don't even yeah. think that's been started yet. So I don't know. I mean, well, the, I'm, unfortunately, Woodward and Kerry yeah, probably about swamped permitting, like right. every one of these companies. Having to, have, have to set up uh, uh, meetings with the CONCOM. They're going to drill wells down uh, below Bellingham Street. They, oh, geez, what are the four spots? Peter Denton's land. There's a, yeah, pro the property off Thornton, the property off in the back, like behind Pine Hill and Colonial up in that area. Yeah. Um, and there's two others that are privately owned. Oh, one of them is the paddock property that they're looking at for this housing development. Yeah. So that ties in. I remember there was some discussion about that and saying, well, might want to figure that out before we build on it. And then I forget where the fourth one was. Oh, geez. it's in the it's in the report. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, all right. I I just think you know for our next meeting we just need to know no. is it is it going on and what's the estimated time? We just need an update on whether with what this is right now. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't. Unfortunately, if it wasn't the town beach, I just had been buried. Okay. Um, Everybody okay with moving off that one? Yeah. Yes. Just so we find out. Yeah, we just don't know anything, so put it on the next agenda that we okay. need an update on this. Updates yeah. on Cape Road contract. Did Jack send a that? So I did talk to Jack the other week about that. He is having a hard time getting council to look. So supposedly council was going to take our contract and make a pass at it and come back with comments on how to incorporate what was discussed. And that's where it's stuck. I'm not really sure what's going on. I believe Jack has had some conversations with right. the select uh, board in form of like complaining about what's taking so right. long if you guys don't mind i'm gonna call jack i can't do it till monday and just say to him what's going on with this contract and you need our help with the select board to yeah complain. i think i think the select board maybe needs to take a hard line with the contractor that we've hired to handle these issues and you know it's a firm so maybe there's somebody else they can assign to the project yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I have, I have this in, in the town I work in, um, <laughs> where I had something that needed council's attention. Council sat on it for a month, and I just, you know, walked into a select board meeting and I said, "Hey guys, I can't get this done. It got done in two days." Because it's like if you can't, don't have time, get it somebody else in the firm who can. Unfortunately, it seems like things are a little slow. So, anybody mind if I call Jack on Monday? Yeah, feel free. I sent him a text. I, yeah. I'll i also um, ask him about phase around, two, but... No, this is a Cape Road contract you need? Yeah, no. so... Well, yeah, but what we're trying to do was Jack had come up with the idea on, of putting in, you know how they won't let business go in? Yeah. What if it's restricted to the same flow as the residents it would replace? And if, if they will agree to that, that's wonderful. We tried before. Well, this time around, there's some new bargaining chips, I think, related to all this the to warehouse. The warehouse. And, I don't know. Hope basically, Tim Tim's told told them that why don't you propose something? So we're going to propose something and see what happens. Okay. Um, but it, you know, it stinks because people are potentially looking to develop their property and can't waiting on this. Um, um I just want to back up to then, so this whole. I know you said we're going to move on from phase two discussion. If you can, reach out to uh, the engineer. See if somebody's got some minutes, because we also talked about wastewater, too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not just water. And just so phase two include discussion. wastewater. Correct. Yes. <coughs> uh, if, if the chairman of the board of selectmen gets his way, it does. So. Yeah, no, it's still, 
and so because we talked about a couple of different things on sewer, talked about in ground injection and uh, All right. looking for areas. Here we go. So anyways. Woodward and Kern to follow up with the town regarding what will happen if contaminants found during testing. Jack to find out, follow up with the Eagle Council regarding review of right of entry forms. Woodward and Kern to send additional owner information so we can contact people. Town to attempt to obtain right to purchase agreements with private property owners following initial coordination, buy in from owners. Scott to provide data. Oh, that was about the way. So that sounds like minutes right there. That was just the, um, oh. What do you know? I didn't look at the attachment. Meeting minutes. You could circulate those, Dan. Send those. Identified location, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'll forward these out. Okay, but please. Beyond this, I've heard nothing. Okay. No, because that was all stuff that was discussed at the meeting. So we need an update on top of, you know. Sorry, that's my bad. Currently, I would just hold I should have forwarded yeah. this. Curious questions to lady. There's two giant gasoline tanks sitting on the ground. Yeah. Uh, Oh, that's uh, Cape Road, Cape Road and, uh, oh, that's for the guy who wants to put in the gas station. Here we go. And he doesn't have his approvals yet, but he obviously ordered the gas tanks. But he's putting a well in. He's already in the process of getting his permitting to just do a private public water supply well. Right, but but this would help him. But he doesn't have final approval from yeah. the planning and zoning. I know. I think he does have town approvals. Oh, okay. Then he bought the tanks. They're, they're just empty tanks I, waiting. I don't know why. Like, now that I think of it, the contractor called me in like July because I talked to him about what's in the ground and what to watch out for. They were I, delivered I and put there before. in June, in either late May or yeah. June. And they've been sitting there ever since. And at the time, he had not had the final approval from the planning and zoning. Interesting. He probably does now, but yeah, they're empty. They're just sitting there. Be too big for anybody to steal. So, <laughs> yeah, sure. they, got a ten-ton truck. Yeah, we can steal it. I mean, I watched. I watched them load them off a truck and put them there. You need some pretty heavy equipment to move those suckers. I think they're, they're, they're some sort of fiberglass. Or? The fiberglass. I'm pretty sure they're fiberglass. Yeah. It's not going to be heavy. And then, but they're also presumably double shell fiberglass because that's what you require. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, no, uh, um, I, I actually uh, realized today the uh, Mass DOT cut the corner a lot. They mowed it. <laughs> did they do it or did somebody? No, they mowed it and their mower's sitting there right now. And I'm like, uh -huh. why are they mowing private property? Well. Because you couldn't see around the corner. I think they're potentially going to be negotiating to take some of that to make a turning lane. And that's part of how this all connects. Yes. Blue water needs land. Somebody else needs water. Hope Dale needs money. That's all connected. We'll yeah, see. So basically, getting that warehouse approved opens up. Hope Dale gets money for a new water tower or water storage. They buy the lane from the company that owns it, put in a traffic lane so they can build a warehouse. Then they move our pipe. Yeah. And supposedly it's moving along behind the scenes. Yeah, I know. Um, I mean, later on the agenda, we'll talk about the, the Plains Road thing a little bit. All right, well, um, I mean, it's not much. We have update on Dudley Road Meter. That's in and functioning. So Dudley Road Meter is in and functioning. I have the electronics have not been set up yet, but the meter's there. You can flip, just pull the lid and read it. It works. Okay. Never heard back from the letter I sent that you requested. Okay. Um, you, does it require an antenna? Or he, he ignored so it. So it's. Um, I, I wrote it up it's after cellular. The Sorry, yeah. I probably never sent so it to the superintendent to the board. Yeah. Initially, what they said to do, we're going to just set it up in the pit and see if it works. Okay. So if it doesn't work, we're going to have to saw a cut to the side of the road and run a cable, like in a little trench. Cable to an antenna. Right. Yeah, but nice. they're thinking it might actually connect. Actually, actually, he's one of the commissioners. Right for that, as long as it's not under the building. Yeah. I talked to him about it. Exactly. I'm really good friends. Near cell tower I'll just, I'll just call him up and ask him. I will. Eli. Yeah, I got his number on my phone. Okay. All right. That's bullshit. Uh, so Dan, back. we have Cape Road. But we'll, we'll get that done. I just, um, the summer happened, and I actually, as part of the survey, they wanted to see it, so I we went and looked at that, and it's not full of water, so uh, I can go over there. And, so well, aren't we waiting to see if Oakdale moves it? Well, that's different. So that's the Cape Road meter. This is Dudley Road. Oh, I want so to talk the, about No, so the deal with the Cape Road, and I put Plains Road meter pit. And again, I apologize. I just have had no time. Well, it depends on Oakdale. We, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of moving parts. Jack Hunter would like to join 
us and he asked if you can attend and set up a meeting with Tim and Tim had reached out. Tim wants to discuss just kind of the overall concept of this Plains Road meter pit. Um, yeah, if you notice, they started tearing down uh, Roosevelt. Yeah. So Jack, apparently yeah, Hopedale went and just approved this project and didn't really talk to Menden. But the traffic light and a lot of this is going to have to, they're going to have to come to Menden and get approvals from Menden Select Board and possibly Menden Planning Board. But they're putting a light on planes in Hartford. Right. So the hope is that maybe we can additionally negotiate with them to do the rest of the work because you also have to extend the water main across the street to the new meter pit and put the meter in the ground. And I, I think it's probably doable. We just, some people need to talk, but nothing has happened. The last time I talked to Jack, they were still waiting for them to come to mend it with a plan. Nothing's been filed yet. Is the lot all in Hopedale? The project is in Hopedale, but oh, the traffic it's, yeah, it's, it's, is going to be on the town line or possibly in Menden. The, the it's Steve Rose's fault concrete plan. plan. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a pipe okay. as it crosses the street because it's the boundaries on the north side of the street. Yeah. yeah but it's, so why are they going to have to come to Menden? Because so they want to install a traffic light at the intersection of Plains Road, Hartford Ave East, and Talbot Farm. And they have to. It's either on Menden property. They need. I, I don't know all the details, but they. Well, need, yeah, you're. It needs at least needs select board. The approval. left side. Okay, if you're coming Town from Road? Town Hall, the left side of the road is Oakdale. The right side is Menden. And the center is Menden. It turns out. I gotta think they gotta. Go no, on. the road right away actually extends down the left side of the road on the Oakdale front lawn. So, Kev, I'm thinking they, they, they're going to have to go to the planning board for that. For traffic light? No. No? No. That they're going to have to go to the selectmen, the highway department, and Mass Highway. Yeah. Um, but I will I will follow up now that things have slowed down. Right. And we need to meet. I think we just meet with Tim and, and no. connect with the contractor and find out what they're going to do. But, we, you know, we've got the meter. And I will say I met, I brought it up to her with our sanitary survey. I know DEP would be thrilled because that will finally get us our emergency interconnect because then the Cape Road pit becomes the backup. And it would allow Blue Water to not have to replace, to do a bypass. They can just cut the system in half for three months while they do their work. And then, yep. so everybody wins. And maybe Blue Water's willing to work with us on something else because it's going to save them a boatload of money. I mean, Are they putting in a traffic lag because of the big trucks from the... Yeah, they're building a massive... How big a million square feet? 600,000 square feet. 600,000 square foot. Big storage building? Uh, Amazon. Distribution center. Direct. It's an Amazon, specifically Amazon. Oh, nice taxes for uh, this, this is going in in the old concrete plant? Rosenfeld yeah. Concrete, yeah. They, they started uh, clearing the land, and when you drive by it now, the... Um, I noticed the front of what used to be gravel is all chewed up. Yeah, and basically you can start to see the back of the old yard and the buildings that were covered with trees. So, Dan, I hate to keep going backwards, but the Dudley Road media said electronically. So what, what's the matter? We're not able to read it remotely? So I, I, that all has to get hooked up. you got to plug things in. you got to configure it all, and it's it's like a you know a half-day project. Okay. And that was not – they. I mean, they would have done it for us if we wanted to pay them outrageous hourly rate to do it. I kind of thought Ty Sales was going to handle that, but he's not allowed to go in the meter pit. It's not complicated. It's just you got to go out there, pull the lid, sit there, screw the thing into the wall, wire it up. I believe I have all the parts and the information I need to do it. It's can just a matter of electrician finding. electrician do it? Um, I, think, I think I would be easier just to handle it ourselves than I would involve outside okay. people and complicated. It's not, tech, it's, you know, plug wire A into slot A. I mean, everything is there except basically the antenna and maybe the battery connection. Yeah, from the meter to the signalizer, the signalizer into the transmitter, plug the antenna in, plug the battery pack in, you're done. And, okay, did Ty Sales say that everything's going to work inside a pit? I thought we had a run so of the wire. The conversations we've had with the uh, Travis, is that his name? Yeah, Ty Sales, yeah. Sounds like the recommendation is going to, I was just saying to Alan, do it all in the pit, put the antenna not under the metal, and see if it connects, and that's step one. If it doesn't connect, then we have to have highway out. And I already talked to John. They'll do a slot in the ground and run the wire over to the side of the road. But the thought was before we go through all that hassle, let's give it a shot and see what happens. I'm with you, yeah. They, they, they're, des they're designed to really have a good signal, 
Yeah, you might have to be right there, but you should be able to read it remotely. You're, you're not going to you're not going to get any kind of signal over here. Though. No, no. So this device just has to to call the cloud. It's cellular. It's a it's a wavelet. I echo wavelet. So yeah, this thing just transmits to the cloud, and then we log in and see the data. Right. Yeah. It's, it a, it's a web okay, So it's not going to the cell tower. It go. Yeah, it goes to a cell tower, like a cell phone. And then we dial in. And then we just yeah, you log in. I, can't we that. have a thing on our phones? Uh, yeah, I think it'll be a portal. That you log in and, you know, you log in. You have in. to log in, though. I'm probably. Yeah, it's it's a web base. Okay, we it's can't. Web base. Yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure it has alerts, so it'll send you a text and say blah, 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 whatever parameter you set. Yeah, I want to see if it's if it can send text and say. It's going to give you real-time data. Yeah, uh, but if it goes above a certain. Right, exactly. You know, we determine the normal amount. If yeah. it goes yeah. above that. Well, it as I say real-time, it'll, it, it'll transmit like every 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 five minutes and yeah, you I forget what we said hang time. on yeah that's fine it'll give you a graph uh, well you you could set it to go shorter but then you talk the about battery. battery life too right but what, no what I want is if we normally have this many cubic feet flowing through it yeah you set an alert for slightly above that yeah you could you could set a say it's using a lot uh, an alarm now it's using more yeah you could and set we know to go that. look if it says they're a leak yeah yeah, I'm just finding the email. Because, we you know, the, the guys in the neighboring town aren't going to tell us. No, not until, uh, not until they bill us for and say, hey, why is the number so high? Oh, it's Low rate and total is we're going to get, I believe. So we're done with Dudley? And I just need to call. i got to call Ayeka. But we so what are we talking it. about this other meeting now for uh, Plans Road? So I think, yeah, I think it would be like a working, like a day. And I don't know if you're around or you can dial in. We'll have to, yeah. Ideally... I think we'd like to do a Wednesday if that works, because that's when Jack is Wednesday's in town. A, yeah, dude, that's that's actually a really good day for me. Usually. Um, yeah, I just I'll check with Jack when he's around. Know, at least a week in advance, so if I gotta sh you know move things around. So I'll fo I'll follow up with Jack and see if we can get that in the next week. Just or two. let the other two of us know so we can. Uh, if we're free, we can. Yeah, we just then we have to post it if two of you attend. That's all. But yeah, but still. But I think I'll, it'd be good to check in with Tim and find out what's yeah, going on yeah. with that. Alan's in town, and yeah. I'm only, you know, I'm 10 minutes away. Yeah. It's actually yeah. longer for you to get there than me. It is. <laughs> yeah, if you happen to be around, or we can we can set it up remote. Yeah, I just... You guys can, I don't know. Yeah. Or just yeah. so we worst can... comes to worst if you have one day. No, there's like a move appointment. Yeah, yeah, actually, no. Alan's got yeah, probably more time than all of us time is free. Yeah. as far as availability. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. can mention it to him that the... Okay. That Lord wants, or maybe you know, honestly, if that that's the case, maybe I, you know, maybe Tim wants to just come to one of our meetings if it's easier for him. I'm in tax at the time, so it's crazy. Yeah. All right. So planes, we need that meeting. Yeah. So okay. that's just. Um, then the only thing left on the agenda was uh, 36 Bates as an issue. So, I was hoping I haven't heard any more from her. They got a really high water bill. Yeah. So we went out. They had an old meter, so we swapped out the meter to the new one, so at least we got the data going forward. Doesn't appear to be any leaks, but I mean, I, I will say it was basically double their normal use. It was very unusual, but I don't know. So, so I told her I'd bring it up. I was hoping she would send So what kind of meter you at there? Can you data log it? The new meter, now we can... The, so she had an old school analog meter, so the new meter now logs everything. So going forwards, we would know. Unfortunately, well, what did she do with the bill? Did she pay it? Um, I don't know. Or is she waiting to hear from us? My guess is, from the conversations I had, it, we just kept repeating, "Well, it's double. It's double. We never use this much water." And I'm like, "Well, I, you know, understand that, but that's what the meter says." Okay. Well, if we have, my suggestion: we have a new meter on. Let's see what it says at the end of this quarter, and if it's more in line with past yeah. consumption. Then we can address that one quarter and say that's an anomaly. I mean, this is. I mean, it, at best however, it was a leak or something. You know, a toilet yeah. stock. However, yeah. how, yeah. but however, you know, I got an extra person for the last three months in my house. I want to see the next quarter's bill. <laughs> my my daughter's back from Japan for the summer. She's leaving next week. Yeah, long showers. I, I, yeah, I want to see how much that bill went up. Yeah. Because she actually said something the other day, like the water's free. I said, oh, no, it's not. It's not hardly, no. Especially, you know, especially yeah, let right me, now. um, you, I'll look hey, so, and see if it got paid. But. So, so, Dan, hold on. Can, can we just look, look at what the next quarter is and then. Yeah, so what I told I'm her. Not inclined to, I'm not inclined to give them a break. 
I am. They go, are you? I am. Well, so, well, I was originally. If if the next quarter bill with the new meter <laughs> says it's back to where it used yeah. to be, well, I'm inclined to give it. The reason why I say this, Kev, and you've been around for a long time, too. Over time, they, they, over time, they wear their internal pots as it's all mechanical. And so they're a little less accurate. But on the customer side, you know, we're, we're actually losing revenue at that point. So I don't know how we, we dance as it's well, all they, 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 under they don't they, they, they under register. They don't over register. Right. My, my thing is they either had a sticky toilet valve, something. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Uh, but, but rather just give them a break without having anything. I don't know. How is our favorite policy? I, I know how, how well, I, I think we adopted in and kind of what you had. Yeah, yeah. We took what you had suggested <clears throat> from um, Sudbury, I think, where we basically said, you know, everybody gets one, but you got to show that you fixed the thing. you got to prove it. Come in with, with, with proof. You know, yeah, you went to Home Depot, you purchased. And that's kind of what I had said to her is, you know, if you could come back to us and say, oh, you know, something was leaking, we found an issue. And that's part of the idea of putting in the meter. To, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not inclined to give anybody anything till they come in. Right. I mean, I mean you know the house. I think when, when's the next billing cycle? Yeah, I'm just trying to find the. Uh, what is wrong with right this? Because I, mean, you know, I don't want to set precedence with those those so cap. You know what I'm saying? They used to it, 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 in him is a, the rental, yeah. and Service one screen. bill came up nine hundred dollars. They said, "What the hell?" And they said. Oh, well, this whale has been leaking for the last couple of days. Well, it's a lot more than the last yeah. couple of days. I don't so want to. I had to go. I had to pay it. I don't want to put this up because I don't want to share their info. So their their normal usage, you know, 32, 3, 3200, 3, 3, 3, 4, 7, 1, 22, 20, 31, and this one was 6600. They're all over the map. And what was this one? 6600. So, okay, so but you, you had a couple a, of 48s there too. To a pool. They yeah. do have, you know, so I don't know. They have a pool? I think they have a pool. She said they don't fill it. They, you know, there was no evidence of whatever. I mean, my thought was at least going forwards now, the meter will give us that weak flag, and then we can say, yeah. hey, well, something's not well, right. Well, the other thing, too, when you data log, you can actually look. Right, and see, was it see a toilet? Graph it, yes. So the question again is, when are we doing the next billing cycle? So the next, oh, sorry, the next. Um, should be down. This bill was due August. Hang on. May, June, July. May, June, July, August. I think November. When are taxes due? Sorry, I'm November one. Yeah. So our next bill should be first meters read in like November, and the bill should be due right around eleven fifteen, eleven thirty. Okay. So we're, we're just let's let's flag that for a look after that billing thing, and see where it is in relation to cash use. Yeah. I mean, and if it is that quarter is an anomaly, they also need to come in here and talk to us. Right. Yeah. I'm not inclined to just say, oh, you know, you had trouble. I mean, I know I'm going to be up this quarter over the last quarter. Yeah, yeah. I could say mine was an anomaly, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do tend to think, you know, I know maybe it's a hardship, but people probably should pay the bill and then we'll give you a credit. I was going to say a hot chip's a different thing though, but if you just come and say the no, meter, they did actually we don't, we don't believe the meter. Right, so to our credit, they did pay the bill. And I'm, I'm, okay. I'm just afraid that so we could set a precedent. So uh, somebody uh, yeah. I go down the road, somebody else says, Hey, I got a high bill. And right. you know, yeah, I also go by the same rules for tax abatements. You can file for an abatement, but you have to pay the bill. Yeah. Well, that, right. And that's like the law, right? Yeah. I think yeah. So. And if you don't pay the bill, you lose your appeal rights. So, uh, yeah, I'm more than willing to take a look at it, but I also want to hear from them. Yeah. Again, if it's out of whack, if it's in line, you know, and that was the spring bill, you know, did they water the lawn? Did they wash the car? We don't know. Right. And, and so did, did you go there? Did you? I, yeah, I went there. You know what? It was the same the poor people that the contractor ripped out that tree stump. Remember a few years ago, and tore up the ripped out the curb stop and made a huge disaster and had to. And well, could he that did, have he paid, No, that was a while. He paid to fix it. Okay. Same had to do a bunch of repairs. Um, so, Dan, what I what I usually do when I get people on the phone, or what I used to do way back when when I mm -hmm. go into homes, I think I may have already said this to you. I tell people if they're not sure if they get a leak, I tell them shut the valve off right at the meter. Leave it off for a couple of minutes. 
and then when you go to turn that valve back on, you can hear the water rushing through. If there's a leak downstream of that valve, that's a good idea because you, you'll yeah. hear the water rushing through. Yep. You'll. Because I usually tell them to you'll go see look the meat. A, a little spinning. low flow indicator. Yeah, the low flow indicator. If there's anything, you'll see that thing. It, should, it wasn't like a hideous, ancient, crusty meter. It was fairly recent. It had the external register. So we put one of the new ones on. What are we? Are we, we what are we using? Census meters? I know the badger. Oh, oh okay. Badger um, with the. Yeah. Well, wh why don't we do? Why don't we do this? So I guess I mean, they haven't happens. formally come in. When the bill, when the meters are read. We know we need to just take a look at that and say, is this, you know, a real anomaly compared to historical use and now with a new meter use? Right. And then deal with it. If not. Yeah. And then I would say it, 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 it was an issue. What I, I think I've explained this to you. We never abate consumption. What we do is we abate the step difference because we've got uh, an inclining block rate. I believe our rates are. So you would, you would bill anything over the average. Anything over the average, you, you, bill, them, the you bill them at step one. So they're paying for 100% of the consumption. You just, you're not billing them for the extra steps. You follow me, Kev? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they still I'm pay the base sure rate. Software that, yeah, and, and, and there's a reason a for that sense. too, Kev, because we got to we got to account for all the water in the ASR. And so if you yeah. go abating water, then you just increased your unaccounted for water. Yeah, we're and still and we're still that. paying for it. Right. So, right. And yet another reason why our software is garbage. Because I bet that's not even an option, but that's a really good point. Because you're using that number. No kidding. Yeah. And that's why you can never bait. Yes, are they? You can never bait the number. consumption. We had you a little bait the steps. Yeah. We had a All little right. snafu with our ASR. Tim, yeah, was, Tim yeah, was looking at it. Because the ASR, you want to be under ten percent. Well, they didn't. Uh, I I must. I don't know whose fault it was. We weren't clear with right? white water. The number was cubic water. foot, not gallons. So they converted it again. Oh, so we had to god. revise our ASR. So it's fixed now. But Tim was like, this is not right. Oh my god. Um, okay. And I am so now that we have signed on with Springbrook, if you remember a few years ago, remember years ago we were talking about billing software? Yeah. So the system we were looking at was this what we now have. <clears throat> so myself and Jack are gonna talk with Jody about moving forwards on the utility billing. Because it really for both of us, it, it's Again, not that package. complicated. There's 150 customers. There's no legacy data. There's no whatever. We can just start from scratch. The little bit of data we have, we'll just keep in the old system and download it as we need it. it you know, and so hopefully over the winter we can finally pull the What's plug the cost of that module? Oh, it's part of what we're, the town, we're not paying for it. It's already paid for Part of the finance system. Oh, did you stack the well, Nobody said anything to me, so I, I'm sure that... Because we don't pay for KVS, any the utility billing. We were at the time we, we were talking about it, it was so atrocious. We were basically saying we'll pay for our own system because this sucks. But it's within the. But now we've the whole town has transitioned to this utility billing cloud, whatever. It's Springbrook. Okay, well if it's in there. So hopefully I'll talk to her about moving okay, forward because I think. I know. All right. Does anybody have anything else they want to bring up tonight? Uh, uh, I, I do. Meeting about. Okay. Dan sent me an email probably a, three weeks ago on GIS, so I just want to find out. Want to? I don't know what's the town doing, and ultimately this the, 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 the water only, this would involve us to what the water department. The GIS. The only you GIS we have is the assessment. Oh, oh no, for, people GIS. You would ask no, me about people. No, 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 no. You don't want to do anything with that company. John Dudley is Kevin looking Flan? for. You know Kevin Flanders. You don't want. First of all, they just got bought. You don't want to use people GIS for GIS at all. Who would you use? You want to use the company that bought it, which is Snyder Geophysical in Indiana. So Kevin planned to sold out? I'm going to have to give him a call. So I was, my question was, so John Dudley is looking for soft, DPW software yeah. for highway. So he, I think they are going to, they have a proposal from Simple City, whatever it is. That, that's, yeah, yeah, that's an old I was more curious if you had experience with them, which you said you did. No, my experience is, is with people GIS. Okay. And it's been good. It's not great. Every one of them has flaws. Right. Let me, let me explain why they're not good. Kevin Flanders created the only GIS program ever heard of that's on a proprietary system and not based on the industry standard, which is as Resort GIS. So... It's proprietary. You can't plug it in. 
now that he's part of Schneider, Schneider Geo, uh, Geospatial in Indiana, they're converting his GIS over to ArcGIS uh, Arc format. It will be done by I'm a client, so a both. It'll be February, and then it'll be good. At 24? Yeah, they're working on it right now. I just met with the president last Cause week. Because because I'm in bed with people's GIS. We've got all of our work orders. I've got right, no, all their my, software is going to remain, but their mapping not just me, but the, the entire town. Okay, but their That's mapping it. is getting converted yeah. from the proprietary format to ArcGIS. What the only people who have GIS right now in this town is through a contract with Central Mass Planning. The assessors have it. What I what I'm doing is actually I'm about to get a personal license for ArcGIS for my house yeah. to build my own system for the office in Holliston and then tie in, tie into Schneider. They told me what I have to do. Why wouldn't you just tie into what the what's the town using? Why would you be using something different, Kevin? I don't get it. This town? No, 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 not not Holliston's not. using people GIS. Yeah, but, okay, but what I don't know. Yeah. It's okay. It's complicated. IT doesn't want somebody having their own terminal tying into it. Okay. IT attitude. And we're doing it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> We don't have a, a GIS department in Holliston. By default, the assessor's office. But well, you must have an IT department that probably oversees the GIS. Oh, we do. I update it. We do everything. Oh, so you're the IT guy for at least for. I'm the GIS. My the department. GIS guy, yeah. Okay, assessors by law have to have maps. Yeah. Today they have to be online and they have to be updated no more than a year out of date. Okay. You can use Muni Map, right? No. That's what Mendon has, that Muni, Muni Mapper Mapper. or whatever that, that. That really doesn't count because it's not updated fast enough. When you're doing a butter list, you need the current owners. Right. So I couldn't use Muni Mapper for what I do either, but go ahead. Okay. Kevin, hasn't been, Kevin Flanders hasn't been able to update any maps for more than two years because Everybody's giving him everything in, in, in as reformat for yeah. GIS, and he could do it. And he got in a fight a year, uh, two years ago, with the employee that did it for him, and the employee quit. And Kevin said, "We're not doing that anymore." I was going to say, Kevin, that's that's a problem they got. They don't have enough people there, and he can't keep people. Well, that's why they bought him. Right. So he's going to focus on the like the building app, the highway app, all those apps, and the new owner Schneider is going to take over the mapping portion, okay. put it into. Esri GIS, our GIS format, yeah. and run it much better. Yeah. What I want is a terminal on that on my desk. Because he's also working with Bader Engineering, too. Who? Kevin Flanders, People GIS. He's also teamed up before this whole thing, this merger you're talking about. He was also working with Bader Engineering on development of some of the things within this platform. Yeah, probably keep doing that. Yeah. I know, Schneider, so, Schneider, the but I, now, just bought now I'm a little companies. concerned because you're telling me information because I work with them all the time. Well, you're I, mapping, and you're I didn't know any of this in stuff. a proprietary format. I, I knew that. So but, you can't yeah. just take it. Yeah. Let's say he goes out of and business. I know we're falling off track with this, but yeah. No, but if, if you want GIS in the town, yeah. if you're talking to, to people GIS, Make sure you know that they're porting off this proprietary system to a standard one yeah. by next year. So Dan, this is good for you because you. Yeah. Who are you talking with? You're talking to. Well, the so this wasn't. Pilot. I was, and actually, it. But Gene has. Stable. Gene Berthold has, through Central Mass, we have the only GIS yeah. system in the town running. John, so it's John. So what started is John's looking for DPW stuff, but then they, they mentioned they did this other stuff. So I met with him. Is, he, is he the new DPW director over He's there? He's the interim. Yeah. Interim highway surveyor was until he, they but, decide what they want to do. Was, he's a homegrown guy, though, right? Yeah. yeah. And so John and I have been talking. We are working on a proposal to bring to the select board, um, and I'll share it with you guys once it's done. Yeah. To kind of restructure and how this would all work. And I, the current plan is is that I would retain under the current structure. I would retain water, but if we build a water system, DPW. then you're going to have a formal water department, and it can't be done by one person anymore. But in the short term. 
basically split out like parks maintenance needs to be under highway. There's so many similarities, the same crew, the right, same but equipment. If you're proposing a, a GIS system. No, we're not. Okay. We just he mentioned permitting, so John figured and they there's some discounts, so I figured I'd talk to him no, because they, yeah. some people are not thrilled with viewpoint. Honestly, like you just said, they all have their pros and cons. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Really simplicity is really good. Simplicity or simplicity. Well, that, that's what John's looking Their at. Their building permit system we have in Austin oh, is unbelievably know. great. I asked them but, for but a list yeah. of who you use. And that's what I see with people GS. You know, they're really good with some things, but other things they're not so good in. So, like, like for the water department or for the highway department. Yeah. That's stuff like that. Maybe they don't have a good work order system. Work order. So, yeah. what I so, say is if you go with them, you have the ability to expand to the GIS capability, and by the time you talk about it next year, calendar year, yeah. they'll have the good GIS, because I want all the assessing brought into that. Yeah. Well, I believe the discussion is that they are going to, John's proposing short term that they sign on for just the DPW stuff, yeah. and then, like you said, I think if in the future well, there's well, room for expansion, they can grow. Well, this yeah, way. you could yeah, your back will program to it. And they have no work orders. Central Mass. No asset management. Central Mass is all the mapping for the assessors here, yeah. sitting in their ArcGIS system. Right. Okay. There's nothing to say that if the town wants to expand a relationship with people GIS, that you you couldn't go. We own the the, the mapping. Yeah. Go to Central Mass when the contracts up and go. Give us the files and you load it locally. Yeah. But it means somebody here has to update the maps. Every and that's not easy. No. Uh, but I, I think we'll I happen see. to have an assistant who's got a degree in GIS. Yeah, no, I update our maps too. Um, all all the infrastructure, but new streets and stuff like that. That's right. they do that behind the scenes over there. I mean, that's Menden really needs to go that direction with a centralized. You know, we're right on well, the yeah. right on the edge of. You know. Well, I'll give you. Holliston doesn't have it, so you have a contractor doing all the stormwater mapping for Holliston. Who prints out the maps for them in ArcGIS format? Sitting here, they have a sewer study going on in ArcGIS over here. You have the assessors over here, and we're like guys. For about twenty thousand dollars, you could put that all in a town system. I was going to say it should. Well, it's just layers, though. It's it, it is the all layers are there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the the base data is. The base data is done. We got it from the state. In the face. Right. What you do, with, see, what people don't realize is they don't have a background. It's like the highway superintendent knows running highway department. He has no GIS. We can try to tell him, see that stuff the contractors did for you? Yeah. Okay, all you do is give it to us if we make it another layer of the map. Yeah. And you can look exactly. at it, but so can everybody else. The yeah. fire department can plug things into it. Like the town just bought all new streetlights and they own them now. Yeah. They have an ArcGIS map of the streetlights. I said, you could make that a layer in there. Yeah, exactly. Sure. What they're thinking is, though, oh, my God, we got to hire three or four people. we got to buy hundreds of thousands. And what I'm trying to say is, guys, you buy a town-wide license for ArcGIS, it runs off the cloud, and everybody can get it from their own existing computer, yeah. even a laptop. And you're talking, it's, it's um, I think, 20000 a year for multi-license for the whole town. But that's next year's budget fight because mm -hmm. people don't get it. But let me ask one question. It's only little but is the hydrant uh, flushing thing include the four hydrants on on uh, on the Milford system? Or In the past, hydrants? we have not touched the hydrants on 16 because Hopedale does them. It, it really, we own the hydrants. We do. Yeah, but, but they Hope, flush them. And I think he does them. When he does his flushing. When he flushes. Yeah. I haven't seen him flush in a long time. But. But, but they also, like, if there's a problem with one of those, you know, God forbid there's a problem with somebody's water quality, that's a Hopedale problem, not a Mended problem. Yeah, everybody on 16, they take care of. Uh, okay, uh, that's great. But, but anyway, what I was going to say is if there is the ability right now, Dan, to create a map of our water system and hydrants and put it in an ArcGIS format. Well, we have it from DEP. It just needs to be updated. Okay. But we could put that on a layer on the accessing thing if you, if right. the town oh, yes. bought a license. 
I've taught. I, I mean, I've had done a bunch with Matt recently with um, I think what he just did for us, all the open space. I was going to say there. anything that you get, and we can pay him how we yeah. do work for us. Anything that you anything that you buy into, and I know it's not happening right yeah. now. I've got tools on my map, so I'm able to add all kinds of assets. As a new subdivision goes in, well, I do the water main, I put in the, the gate valves, the I, hydrants, oh yeah, all the infrastructure. Yeah. I, I do that. We just passed the... Uh, we, and we... Yeah, all the, the data that goes along with that, too. The, the planning board and zoning board in Holliston, based on where we're going, just passed a rules change. So, for instance, any new road and subdivision it's submitted in AutoCAD. Well, we just did it too, I think. Right, yeah, we do that. Yeah. And then and we take it, give it to the GIS folks, and they could draw the road in right based on the, the right from those plans. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's all done. Right. And that should be a requirement now with the plan. No, I think we did it too. I know Jean was yeah. kind of mad because stuff wasn't being sent to her. And she's yeah. like, hello. Yeah, yeah, because it has to go to assessors. And if you don't know that they're making a lot change, right. your records are out of date. But anyway, if the town is looking at that, we can build a layer with this. Oh, yeah, iconic. definitely. And since the system is so small, oh my I, mean, God, I can yeah. even volunteer to do it. Well, just having that, I mean, and that's what John's running through with highways, just having you know, asset management and work orders yeah. just to keep track of this stuff. When, but you also, know, you know when the last time or, you fix something was. Right, yeah, you can look up all that. But the last you know, time you wrote Excel sheets. And, yeah, the thing is, too, if you don't want to look at somebody else's stuff, you just click off that layer. Yeah, I, and quite honestly, Neck Hill Road was just paved again yeah. for like the fourth time since I've lived here. It's one of the most repaved roads in town. Let's say a heavy traffic road. Which road? What is the yeah. Conservation Commission? They must have wetlands maps and oh. stuff like that. We don't have anything online. They look stuff up. Really? They, you know, they, they use the state maps when they have to research things. Right, I got you. Okay. But that, again, that's a huge opportunity, but they, they don't even have a clerk. They actually, they just interviewed some people, so we'll see how that goes. For the agent. For the, well, yeah, agent slash clerk. I think and they appointed opening. somebody last well, it's only night. Probably a part time agent here in town, right? Yeah, yeah. It was a 10 hour week. But, uh, they, but just, I mean, they need somebody most, to organize them. Yeah. I just, I just Although, took two basic seminars from, from Esri that does ArcGIS at the National Assessors Convention in Salt Lake City two weeks ago. Yeah. And the amount of stuff when you have this license you get for free from them. Everybody's built stuff. And what they do is if you build something you think is cool, you upload it to the site, and then, which I'm sure you know of, yeah. and then when you have the pro license, you basically just go to that, that site on the web and say, that does that, that, that. I'd like that on my site. Right. Yeah. And you download it into yours. Yeah. And they, should, they spent two hours going through that cloud site, just picking things at random and saying to the audience, you want to see what that does? And we put it into a working program. And, and, and I'm sure you have the dashboards. Of course, yeah. But I, some of the stuff you're talking about, yeah, looking at somebody else's stuff and being able to incorporate, you can't do that with GIS. You can't do that with people. That's what I'm saying. That that's what I have, yes. No, let, let, but let, let people me, will be converted by next February. I, I, you'll be able I'm going to call it tomorrow. Oh, I can't. I've got to borrow off. I'm going to no, call let, it Let me ask a pain in the question. If you... Put all this data in as it's planned. Yeah. Does somebody go back and do it as built? Yes. Uh, as for an as built. You can. I, I actually upload, because it's just one big database, right? So I upload. Here's the other thing, too, Dan. I think I may have said this to you. You know, we've uploaded all of our tie cards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so you click onto a parcel. So my guys now have tablets. I, yeah. I remember they, they were like reluctant to. They were all pen and paper guys. I'm like, no, guys, this is what we're going to do with people GIS. I uploaded all of the tie cards, all the intersection of gate bells and stuff like that. So the guys that are on call now, they have a tablet. The whole history there. They get a call. They get a call. So-and-so got a leak. They click on a parcel, plus there's the, there's the tie card. And then we've also uploaded, you're right, all the history. you got to upload all that information. But it's now part of the database. Right. But the, the thing that... that we're doing it is is um, Holliston requires an as-built plan now in every building permit. Yeah. So not just the new road, but a subdivision, but even if you're building an addition on your house. So what we do is we get the plan signed by the planning board. That's uploaded. Yeah. Then there's an as-built when the subdivision's done. We upload that 
we pull out the old one and replace it with the as built. Yeah. And the contract I have with Schneider is unlimited changes. Yeah. I pay a higher fee. So right now, for this year alone, I've got like 30 as builts. And the as builts have the lot dimensions, whereas yeah. the old subdivision plants in the 30s and 40s and 50s, they don't have like this is 100 feet. Now with an as built, we have a modern plan. All our maps online, when you zero in on them, you pull up just the lot. You see all the boundaries, the dimensions. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And eventually, I want one Milford has. Milford, you, you go to the map, you click on a parcel. Anything a town board has ever done comes up. So if the building inspector submitted a cease and desist, That's how if the concom were to put an order, the order comes up. If uh, the building permit comes up, yeah. um, if it was a planning board or a zoning board special permit, that comes up. Yeah. And you can literally see the history of a parcel. Yeah. That's how Oz is too. You click on a parcel, you got a whole conjure. But that took them 20 years to build. Yeah. Yeah, but you can click on any one of these documents. Yeah, but our, our building commissioner and I figured out that the way we're going with growth in Holliston, yeah. in five years, we'll have 50% of the town 100% accurately mapped. Yeah. In most towns, they don't. Right, yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. And it's just exploded because more and more people are realizing how, how to use well, this stuff. If you want, and, I'll, and bring, I'll bring it. it. The other thing we can do is we, we have the aerial photography system yeah. to look at houses. You could tie that into the GIS so when you click on it, the aerial photos download. Yeah. Yeah. So I could I could look at any house in Menden, for example, sideways yeah. from the roof. It's by satellite technology. Right, right. Yeah. 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 I've seen those. So who, who takes all these pictures? Companies do it and then charge you for them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. Like rent time yeah. on a satellite. There's uh, no no, there's Eagle View. Where they have their own uh, in Massachusetts you have Eagle View. And you have near map. Near maps uh, worldwide. Eagle View is U.S. And what they do is they fly. Near map flies the state of Massachusetts. The state flies its own. The state once every five years in, in aerial maps. But they don't zoom down to the house level. Near map does eastern mass from Worcester County east three times a year, both straight down and pan panoramic. Yeah. And yeah, you ever see that, Alan? I can guarantee you. Probably I'll, bring it out, I'll bring it out yeah. on the laptop. Click on your parcel. I don't know if it, if, if you can get men in houses, but I've been at Shrewsbury the same thing. No, so. I have it. Yeah. Okay. I'll bring it in my laptop. Yeah, you get a I can dial in. view of your house, the panoramic view, down looking like your, your bird's eye view looking straight down. Well, you, know, you know what a sense is using for? Okay. Somebody take out a building permit for a new deck. Yeah, like a pool or something. Yeah. Or no, let's, let's say a new deck. Yeah. Or an addition to the house. And you'd go, okay, they took it out in February. Yeah. Is it built yet for me to capture this new growth? Yeah. Well, it used to be you'd say, okay, I'll wait three months, I'll drive out. Right. No, it's not. Now what you do is you say, okay, these are all exterior building permits. You spend an hour just looking at them from the air and going, oh, it's half built? Yeah. Or, and then you can also measure it, the yeah. dimensions. They took out a building permit for 10 by 12 deck. They actually built the 20 by 24 deck. <laughs> and this is the first thing I do is, is I clip a screenshot, send it down to the building inspector. Yeah. It said exceeded the permit. And then we've got a photo record that says on this date, there's that deck. And we save the photo right into the file. Yeah, that's so cool. So somebody says, I don't have that deck. Really? Well, here's yeah, a photo of it. You liar. <laughs> and that saves us from going out two or three times. And focusing on the interior ones that we need to look at, because exterior ones, if they say they're building an addition, it's going to be a sunroom, you look at it and go, okay, is it a sunroom or is it a permanent room? You yeah. can tell by the foundation, the windows, yeah. everything. You can measure it, you're done. <laughs> I love technology. Hey, Dan, look what this segue did, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Any Oh. Kevin asked me any more questions. We get talking about GIS. Well, anyway, and here we go. Alan, do you have <laughs> anything else? No. Nope. Nope. Just the Were next. You done with no, I'm done. <laughs> and just for the next meeting date, I cannot do October 5th. So we could, if the 12th works, which is the second Thursday, we just yeah. Thursdays are really good for me. So we'd have to meet downstairs. October 12th works for me. Why? Con -con Why? How come we can't meet up here? Con -con. Conservation. Oh, fuck them. <laughs> and the fancy okay. new conference room we could go. Are we yes. still on or do you stop yeah. recording? Next meeting is October 12th, and we're going to adjourn changes. this meeting. I'll double check with Jack. But We're going to adjourn this meeting at 8.08. I moved to adjourn, yes.
and I know no one's opposed, so 801.